Hey guys, what is up? My name is Cyclone Update and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And to be honest, right? I think like texting has like fostered a special type of stupidity within the human race. Like let me explain, right? Like before when we had to like write letters and stuff, right? It was a whole different ballgame. Because sometimes by the time a letter got to a person, like feelings were different, situations were different, right? But I think like the instant texting era that we're in, like <laughs> the stuff that I have experienced and the stuff that I've witnessed like from, from other people's point of view, to be honest, it is it, it has fostered a certain type of stupidity that can't be explained. But I'ma stop talking, let's just get into it, you know? Say there's a person that you like, right? And you're interested in, and they made it clear that they're interested in you, you know? And you message this person at like 10 o'clock in the morning, you know? You woke up, you message them, whatever. And by the time they text you back, you're in your 60s and you're like expecting pension or something. To be honest, right, I've heard so much people talking about this, like like males, females, it doesn't matter. They always say the same thing. Oh, if you text too fast, she's gonna think that you're a needy or something. And so you're gonna have to wait like an hour or two between texts. To be honest, right, if you take an hour to text me, that's not gonna make me interested in you. That's gonna make me delete your number, okay? I grew up in a Caribbean household. Anytime my mother takes too long to respond to me, I expect number one, disappointment. She's gonna probably tell me no about something that I can't get. Or number two, a ass whooping. And to be honest, disappointment hurts worse, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fall back, okay? Like I could understand like if you're busy or something like that, I'm cool with that, you know? But when you purposely <laughs> have you you aren't doing anything and you see my text, you 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 open the text, you don't even read it from the outside, you open the text and take hours to message me back. I, <laughs> I'ma just fall back to be honest. So say right, there's this person and you guys are both interested in each other, right? But they expect you, you know, they expect you, my brother, to um or sister, to carry this conversation every time you speak. You understand? When you guys are talking, right? They aren't putting any effort into it. They're not asking you questions. They aren't bringing up any topics. They aren't doing anything. You understand? No, I can understand if you're the type of person that you don't know how to text. You know, you don't have to. You don't know how to have a conversation over text. I'm totally fine with that. There's certain persons who can only have, can only talk to a person in person, or can only talk to a person over text. Personally, I am both, and it took me a while to get to that point. You know. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna make anyone feel bad for not being able to like have a conversation over social media, you know? But when this person, okay, when this person can do better, you know for a fact this person can do better. But for some reason you know this person, right? You know this person can have a conversation with you over text. But they're pers but they're purposely not adding anything to the conversation just so you can carry the conversation, you understand? That, 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 again, will make me delete your number, you understand? Let me, let me turn, right, to the Bible of Taekwondology, you understand? Chapter 4, verse, uh, you understand? Thou shalt not waste bad my time, you understand? Like, I don't know who you think, right, is gonna carry this conversation, to be honest, because I will admit, okay, the first few times, I probably will carry the conversation, that's me, you know? Personally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get to know you, you know? But if I realize that you're not adding anything to the conversation fam, I can't even carry my, my team in a game of League or Fortnite. So at the end of the day, I don't know who child you think you're talking to that, that can carry this conversation. My advice, I would say, is to find out your strong suit. If you're better at talking to a person over text, or if you're better in person. Personally, I would prefer you to be better in person, <laughs> because at any day, when you guys continue texting you know and you guys become friends or even more than friends what is gonna happen if you're in person you know you're gonna have to get comfortable around that person so yeah find out your strong suit and make it clear to the person and tell them look I am not I am not t too big of a texter you know I, I can't really I don't really do this make sure the person knows that and make sure they don't think that you're like purposely not adding anything to the conversation you know and to the persons who can do both at the end of the day it should always be a 50-50. If you're interested in the person, make sure that 
there aren't there aren't carrying the conversation every time you speak come on that gets frustrating after a while and then after that you're gonna probably gonna be wondering oh why is this person not talking to me anymore because every time y'all talk he or she has to carry the conversation you know so come on guys it has to be 50 50. okay let me explain what i mean by persistence right so there is this person and you see them on instagram or whatever you know you decide you know what let me slide any dms right and you slide in the DMs, right? And you said, you know what, hey. And then they didn't text you back. They looked at your message and they didn't text you, text you back. They left you on scene, right? And you persistently message this person over and over and over, right? Trying to get a response. That, my friend, <laughs> is stupid. Please do not do that. You you look you look crazy, okay? Please don't do that. Like personally with me, right? Anytime. I realize the person isn't giving me the same energy. Like we could even be having a conversation, and I realize, like the person isn't being as enthusiastic as I am, or they as they they aren't like like contributing a lot to the conversation. Usually, I I slowly stop texting. But usually, if I message a person and they see me, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I'll stop right there. Like I am not messaging you anymore. Sorry to say, but I'm not even sorry because that, that's just how I am. To be honest, I'm not gonna consi I'm not gonna consistently message you trying for you, trying for your attention. That's not me. Like according to my friend Daquan, right? We just take these L's and we and we walk away gracefully, okay? We put these L's on our back, like how oh, Jesus put the cross on his back, and we just go about our merry way, to be honest. I ain't got the time to be messaging nobody after that. Like, I never understood, right? What would persuade? A man, not even man and woman, to be honest, because it has happened to me already on multiple occasions. What would persuade a random human being to message another random human being that he or she does not know with naked pictures of themselves? I never understood that. Am I supposed to look at these pictures and be like, you know what? Yeah, man, you you look like a really nice person today. Like, like, what am I supposed to take away from 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 these photos? Am I supposed to like jump at the? Uh, I never understood. Like, is like, if I go on these the, the streets, right, and look at a random person, run up to them, pull on my pants, and just be like, you know what? Behold! Like, I never understood it to be honest. Like, I can understand that like, if you're this person, you know. Y'all getting on that, y'all getting on that level, you know, and like y'all talking and y'all know each other and stuff about to get a little freaky freaky if you know what I'm talking about. And you decide, you know what, I'm a snap a picture that sack, you understand, and send to her. I could understand that. But if you don't know this person, why why would your first message be to send a run a naked picture? Like I I I never understood. I never I, I, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Taekwon Neville and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I'd like to thank you all for watching my video today. I had a lot of fun filming it, you know? Just a bit of stuff that I had on my mind. I decided, you know what, let me just do a little rant and share with you guys. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and tell your friends. We're trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark by the end of the year so make sure to tell your friends and make sure to subscribe if you're new here and as always my name is Taekwon Neblet hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are thank you for watching my video and as always stay awesome stay weird see ya hey 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 party mashup again hey hey